What's up, you guys? It's Stephanie Liu, and welcome to a new episode of Lights Camera Live. Today, today we're talking about the future of chat marketing and why you should start using chatbots in your marketing in 2020. And there's no other guy that I'd love to have you on this journey with me than the amazing, the wonderful Kelly Noble Mirabella. Yes, she's back for a second time on Lights Camera Live. Let's do this, you guys. <laughs> I like, like I have promoted the heck out of this episode. I created like three teaser videos. I came up with a rap in my email. Blast. Did, I, I did the whole thing. Was it like, was oh. bananas. I was like, it's 2020. We're going to make this really good, really fun and new. So for you guys that are just tuning in, this is the show. Like seriously, you don't have any other tabs open? You got babies walking around. Close the door, shut the tabs, because this is the place to be. <laughs> it's too legit to quit. <laughs> love it, love it, love it. All right, so I'm here in San Diego. It's not as sunny as it used to be, but that's okay because it's still San Diego on the West Coast, and I know I'm that jealous. you're on the West Coast too, right? I'm super jealous because I'm up by LA, and it's like kind of cloudy and smoggy and you know like LA. Oh San Diego man. literally is heaven. Like it's heaven. Well it's fun and you're gonna be here for social media marketing world which is like just around the corner, right? Yeah I'm speaking just like you. We're speaking. <laughs> Have fun. Yes. Wrong side. Ah, wait, 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 hold up. Sorry I had my Agora Pulse cup in head. Okay, wait, wait. Shoot. Other side. There you go. Why <laughs> my, my hand's all massive. I know my hand is not that there. there <laughs> Shout out to James who said that he literally had 15 other tabs open. That's why we say you got to go ahead and shut those down. Because here's the thing, you guys. What I love most about Kelly is that she's not just going to give you theory of things about like, oh, this could happen or you could do this. No, she actually walks you step by step. And this is why. Because she actually has a YouTube channel, Baby Got Butt. And she goes through the whole thing. She scripts it out. She edits the video. She teaches you. In fact... What is the partnership that you have with ManyChat? I am their trainer. So I did the ManyChat beginner course. Um, and I've also done several of their YouTube videos. I am highlighted in their blog quite often. I'm, I'm good friends with the marketing team. I'm in the Slack with them. No, I can't get you guys any favors or special treatment because I already annoy Max Gibbons over there <laughs> enough with my incessive questions. But yeah, I've, I'm their trainer. If you go check out uh, ManyChat's course, you'll see my face. <laughs> I feel like that needs to be its own shirt. Like you already got your own merch. Do you guys, she has her own merch. This is mine. This is my shirt. Just a boss. Look at this. <laughs> oh, that's so wonderful. I, I got it. merch, y'all. <laughs> that's cool. I feel, I feel like you, Owen, people are having their stuff. I've got my Agora Pulse cup. So shout out to my yeah. AP. AP. All right, you guys. So cool. So today we're talking about the future of chat marketing. And the reason why I wanted to have Kelly on the show today was because I could not keep up with everything that was happening last year. And by the time it was the holidays and I wanted to sit down and read stuff, I was like, all of this is changing. <laughs> I don't even have time for it. And then I saw you promoting you know, all of the stuff that you're doing, not only with like mini chat, you even spoke at conversations or speaking at social media marketing world, but you're like, you guys, the future of chat marketing is here. And I was like, okay, right now, let's talk about that. Yeah. So Kelly, when it comes to chat marketing, why is it something that that marketers should go ahead and invest in right now? So I like to kind of talk like, let's go back. Let's go. Way yeah. Back. Um, I like to talk about the fact that, you know, I'm sure we've one of us, there's been an opportunity that we've passed that we wish we didn't have hadn't jumped on earlier, like mm -hmm. Facebook ads in 2009, or um, email back in the late 90s, you know, email marketing, and mm -hmm. getting into those things and missing out, we missed out on low cost, huge return on investment and man we're kicking ourselves right we're like the blockbuster of our field we're like dang it why didn't i buy netflix for 50 million which they didn't um so with chat marketing we are here and the cool thing is the data supports it uh actually last year 2019 was the first year that chat marketer or sorry um messaging app users equal the amount of users on social networks and this year 2020 is the year when messaging 
app users will surpass social media users. So all the data is actually supporting this. It's not just a guess. It's not just like, uh, I don't know, let me like leap into the faith. You don't have to leap into faith. You know fact, chat is the future. And if you actually go to my YouTube channel, I know that Mike Alton had posted a link. There is a trailer. It's actually my social media marketing world trailer, but the first like 30 seconds basically explains it all. Like this is the future. Mark Zuckerberg says chat is the future and private is the future. Many chat is huge right now. And I would not have invested my entire business, switched everything up and put most of my eggs in that basket if it were not for the fact that the data proves it. You don't have to worry about being the blockbuster of your industry anymore. You can get in on it. Now I can show you how. I can, I can do that for you. Yeah. And she's actually, she is. She is because we've been talking about this and she's got some bomb ass goodies for you guys today. Like I was going bananas, but before we get into that, <laughs> before we get into that, I like to hang out in your baby got bot Facebook group because you have so many like bot builders in there from different industries that are following your guidance, following your tips and your advice. And I think most people don't really realize how they can incorporate chat marketing into their business, whether it's online or just a brick and mortar. So my question for you is, is what are some examples of what chatbots can do right now? Oh gosh. <laughs> well, I'm glad you said <laughs> examples and not like open it up to everything. So messenger bots can basically be used in, in so many ways. It's really limited by your imagination. But some of the ways that I'm really excited about are like the strategies that we might be talking about today, which are getting more viewers, more engagement and more reach on these Facebook lives. These right here, your Facebook live can get more people. I'm gonna give you a quick example. Um, I did a Facebook live on my page, which by the way, I never do. I always do them in my private group. Yeah. And I was like, you know what? Everyone needs to know about compliance. So I did a compliance you know, webinar, but it was a Facebook live on my page. It was like the one time I went live on my page all last year. And I still had like 38 people live at the same time on my broadcast. And I had 20, I think I'm up to 27 shares on that post now. Uh, tons of engagement, huge reach. I think the reach was over 12,000 people were reached. And it was all because of a strategy that I use with my messenger bot. And I so I'm really excited to share that. I, I don't even know if you can actually see it. This is like my DSLR. So hopefully maybe you do see the goosebumps. But it was insane. I saw it. I was watching it. I was like, what is she doing? I was I was experimenting and it worked. <laughs> so that's like one of so many ways. You know, I for instance, I'm going to Atomic Con next or this year. Wow, 2020. I'm going to Atomic Con and I'm doing a workshop outside of speaking at Atomic Con. I'm doing a fringe day workshop and I'm facilitating the whole registration and the sale of my tickets and the check-in at the event with a QR code in mobile wallet through my chatbot. And it's amazing, like the whole thing is super seamless. So it just makes my life so much easier. Um, I'm doing a summit for raising funds for the relief funds in Australia. Yeah. My bot is actually built to save my sanity because I'm so busy right now trying to recover from the flu that I created a really quick chat bot for all the speakers. I have 28 people in less than 24 hours that signed up to be speaker. And I already have their headshot, the titles, the descriptions, and it was all because of a bot I built. So there's three examples right there of how I use my messenger bot. I love this. So basically you learned how to clone yourself with a bot. <laughs> so you can do more like than robot that. Kelly. Like, <laughs> like 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 developing your new fashion line. I love it. <laughs> in fact, actually, you know, Joey just jumped in and she said, is that backdrop a part of your merch? Because it should be, shouldn't it? It be. Um, no, I actually keep it super top secret on where I get my backdrop because I'm known for my backdrop. And I'm actually, you notice when I go full screen, it's just a temp tapestry. My husband for my birthday is actually getting me a full panel. And that's how serious I am about this backdrop. So I can't tell you. Oh, that's brilliant. <laughs> Not that's brilliant. I do have a t-shirt with the same thing that I could probably sell though. Oh, I actually I wore it to Social Media Marketing World last year. <laughs> I love it. I love yeah. it. So shout out to Anna who says that your bots rock and they're friendly too. Oh, thank you. <laughs> That's amazing to hear. Thank you. I strive to be friendly. Good, good, good. So one question from James so far right now, just because he closed all the tabs like we told him to. So <laughs> what's the first type of, of chatbot that you'd recommend that a local business should do? 
Mm, I think that the, the very first step is just to create kind of like a basic welcome message. So if someone does just come in through your Facebook page, you have a, hey, welcome to my messenger bot. Here's what to expect. And maybe a couple of buttons that direct people to talk to a human that can notify an admin to send them to specific tabs on your website. Maybe if you're a local business, you might want to send them information about your hours or a menu, you know, those really basic things. That's the very first step. And that's really easy. And you can do it for free. Ooh, I love for that. Me, everyone loves that, right? <laughs> everyone does. In fact, actually, Joey had a good question for you. She's saying that how long does it usually take to build a bot? And I would imagine that it probably depends on what exactly it is that you're building. It does. It depends on what you're building and who's building it. Now, it's not fair for me to tell you what it is because it would take me you know, what What would take you a beginner um, or even some intermediates maybe days, I could probably do in six hours. Um, I've done like, I did the social media week Lima chatbot in six hours. Like I just sat down and did it and included all the speakers. And so, um, you know, like the, the chatbot that you will experience today, if you in a little bit, we'll be teasing. That one took me about 20 minutes to build. But a normal builder, because again, I am like really high level nerdy at this stuff. Yeah, it might take a couple like an hour to do something that would take me maybe 30 minutes, 20 minutes. They can be very complicated. They can be very easy. The more yeah. you do it, the easier it gets, just like anything else. It's like, a I'm sure it, like is nothing for you to jump on and get your Facebook live because you have a system you've been doing it. Well, yeah. it might take me a little bit longer because I like never do it. <laughs> but you also, I mean, you create templates and I know that in many chat, you could import a template in, yeah. right? Do you sell those templates? Is that a thing? Um, yeah, people do sell templates. I personally don't, templates aren't my, my thing um, because I like teaching. I want people to know how to mm. do, even if you get a template, a lot of times you need to be able to Customize manipulate it. it and make it your own. And so templates yeah. are a great jumping off point. And I do have templates in like my courses and sometimes I give them away on my video videos on YouTube if I think it's a more complicated build. Um, but I uh, I personally don't sell them. Now people do sell them. So if you want like a jumping off point to kind of cut some time down. Also ManyChat has several free templates that you can jump into and kind of play around with. But I would recommend that you at least learn the basics. You could take the free ManyChat course. I have a beginner's course. Mm -hmm. And then that way you can manipulate it, make it your own. Got it. Well, cool. All right. So you already know this, but when we were promoting the show, we had built out a bot. Robo staff had jumped in there. If you guys got into the show because of Robo staff, go ahead and say Robo staff. <laughs> or if you went through, I also had a bot. You could yes. say, you know, Kelly's bot. I don't know. <laughs> Kelly's My amazing. bot used to be named Mika bot, has since been renamed as just me because it's always just me talking to you all. <laughs> All right, cool. So having said that, let's talk about how can live streamers use chatbots and more specifically by engaging with the baby got bot strategy for engagement because you guys, this is bananas. Seriously, if you're doing anything else right now, you need to stop. <laughs> no, we're, gonna get, we're gonna get dirty. We're gonna get our hands dirty right yes. now. Get your so notepads out, y'all. Yeah, so show me how you want me to do this. Do you want me to have it up or do you wanna talk through it? Let's go ahead. I mean, can you do it like a split screen with it? I up? can. Yeah, let's do that. Like, I mean, I'll walk through it and stuff. But basically, y'all, I created a guide. It's what 18 pages and it walks you step by step on how to basically do a Facebook live strategy. Now in the guidebook, the example on how to go live, because you, you the idea is that you have a third party app to go live. So you could pre-schedule and then we're going to promote it using various things. In this guide, I teach you how to do it with BeLive because I find that that's like the easiest to learn or do. I don't use BeLive personally. Um, I use Ecamm and you use StreamYard or Ecamm. I know Stephanie. So it depends. Yeah. So it's, the it's, idea though is that you're scheduling ahead, whatever tool you use, right? Mm -hmm. So by the way, should we tell them they can get this guide or should we Yes, go? I was gonna let you do that because this, okay, this is you. Really quick, the guide <laughs> we're about to go through because you're watching and because you closed all your tabs, <laughs> if you type the word BGB in the description below, you will get, um, you'll be entered into, uh, is it Steffi Bot or? Robo Steph. Robo Steph is going to help you out. You're gonna get this guide and yeah. then some, and then some. Okay. And that's so if you're on Facebook. 
So if, if you're watching, only, on, yeah, sorry, if yeah. you're anywhere else in the universe, if you're watching on YouTube, if you're in a, a watch party, if you're in a group, then please head over to the main feed on Stephanie's page. And, um, and then you would comment there and you'll be able to grab that guide. And if there's any problems, I'll always come back and like, sometimes the, the robots get a little like, oh, this is a lot of people. <laughs> <laughs> I've had I've had to go back and like link to it. It's fine. We could do that. Okay, so here's the idea. Let's let's scroll through this pretty quick uh, because yeah. it's, it's an extensive training, and I actually have a mini course that you guys can get 50% off. Just go through the bot, just as we explained, and you can learn how. And by the way, 50% off means like it's nine dollars and seventy cents. I think is what it comes out to. It's like ridiculously cheap. So the first step is number one: you're going to schedule your live broadcast. So obviously, we want to preempt this, right? We know we're going to be going live, and I would say that most of the times, with a good uh, Facebook Live strategy, a long-term strategy, especially, you're you're scheduling these bad boys out. Yes, that's yes. what we want to do. So we schedule it out, whether you're using Be Live as the guide points out or you're anything else, go you. Let's go for it. So once we have it scheduled out, it creates a post on our Facebook page with a link. And that link is going to be very important. So the next step is we're going to create a registration um, bot. And if you're brand spanking new, never used ManyChat before, grab the guide because in the guide, I think in the resource page at the very back, you can get a free trial of ManyChat uh, Pro if you go through the guide. So yes. don't sweat it, I got you. I'm telling you guys, so Lowell just commented and he said, I still have all the tabs open, he's living on the edge. <laughs> <laughs> You can watch us really manage. <laughs> hey, go ahead. Five and I have like five tabs open. It's fine. Um, just pay attention. <laughs> All right. So you're gonna go to your flows. Basically, we're gonna create a a flow. And actually, in the guide, I created this guide yesterday. So I created it. You'll see it's all the promotions we did for this exact event that yeah. we're doing right now. So you'll see Stephanie's beautiful face in my guide. Welcome to the party, Stephanie. <laughs> <laughs> so we want people to register in the bot, whether even if you're creating like an event page, which I always do. And I know, Stephanie, you did for this as well on your Facebook. You want to encourage people to register in the bot. Reason is, is that we don't want to rely completely on Facebook's little notification. You know, when you go live, someone clicks on that little notify me when you go live. That thing doesn't always work. Mm -hmm. But if they register in the bot, it allows you to do several things. Number one, we are going to set it up so that they we can send them a broadcast message, which PS is fully compliant after March 4th. You guys, I am like the queen of compliance when it comes to messenger bots. Everything I teach is March 4th and beyond compliant. I don't even talk about tags and stuff from current or previous. So we're going to um, come into the bot. They're going to register. We're going to tag them so that we're compliant. We're able to send those people a broadcast message saying, hey, we're live or we're going to be live soon or whatever with the confirmed event reminder tag. You can personalize this using emojis. You can add their first name, make them feel warm and fuzzy. As you can see in the example, I put a nice image. I like to be consistent with my images. I like to make sure that whatever I'm using in my marketing is in the messenger bot as well. That way there's that nice linear effect and people are like, oh yeah, that's the same person. <laughs> <laughs> so they register, we tag them, and then I go a step further. And this is one of my favorite new tricks is I'm okay. actually gonna get people to share out my broadcast. And uh, for those of you who are going through the bot right now, you'll notice that I actually do an unlock to share feature where if you share, not in this one we're showing in the guide, but the actual messenger bot for BGB that you mm -hmm. guys are going through. If you share the post, you will also get the 50% off of my mini course. So you can do that totally up to you how far you want to take this. Yeah. But in the guide, I teach you how to create well, number one, I skipped a step. You see here at confirmation message. I also, this is my strategy. I go way out. I'm like extra y'all, <laughs> but I like to go extra. I actually use a tool that allows me to create a link so that people can add my event to their calendar. So they're getting notified via the event page on Facebook. If they clicked on the live broadcast interested, they're getting hopefully notified there. They're getting a reminder message and a message when I go live from my messenger bot and they are getting a notification from their calendar of choice. Hey, this is today. Yeah. So they're like, whoa, I can't miss this. <laughs> <laughs> and you shouldn't. You shouldn't. That's why I was so pumped for this episode. I was like, I'm going to do everything I can 
to get people into today's show because when you have someone like Kelly Noble Mirabella and she's just like, yo, I'm just going to show you how to do it. You know, and I'm going to give you a guide. And I actually have like a case study in real life that's happening right now. Yeah, that's right. It's a case study. I didn't even think about that. <laughs> it is. <laughs> How are we doing? <laughs> 67 viewers so far. We've got yeah. about 42 emojis. So if you guys are loving this, go ahead and go through. The comments are just popping off. It's, awesome. it's, it's amazing. Awesome. Okay. So as you can see on the screen, this is in the guide, by the way, that you're going to get. So you can see they come in, they get, do you want to register? Hit the register. They get tagged. And then they get the confirmation saying, you know, add it to your calendar. Totally up to you if you want. Yep. Doesn't matter if they hit the calendar button or just like walk away. But the next step, again, optional, but it's something I do in my own strategy is I add, this is just showing you how to create the action steps. This is step yeah. by step. I show you everything. Plus my mini course has a video that walks you through all these steps too. And so your videos pretty, are so bomb. It's crazy. <laughs> this is what I do when I'm recovering from the flu, you guys. Literally everyone in my house has the flu. Uh, yeah. So, so we, um, so we keep going down. Uh, yeah. So then they get confirmation. They, there's, I'm adding them to the event. This is how I built out. Oh no, this is the share. So this yeah. is my top secret share thing. This is so cool. So. They basically, I have this link and you can see here, there's a link to um, a video where I teach this. And also in the mini course, there's the video is in there as well, yeah. where you could share anything. So currently, when people first came into my messenger bot, I shared a post that I created just with an image for this event. And people would share that out to get them to register from my link. Oh, cool. But, but today I went in and I edited it so that now when they hit, when people come into my register link and go through this flow that you're seeing in the guide, the share that they're sharing is this actual video that we're doing right now. Because I figure anything after the fact, I want them sharing the actual video, right? Yep. So you can go in and change these. So now when anyone hits that share event, it's sharing this video and we're getting more reach, more views. This is exactly how I got well, this and, and a couple other things, how I got so many shares on my last live broadcast. The first you said, time like, I was, was it 26 shares? 26? Like 26. And that was like over the holidays too. Yeah. And yeah, it was crazy. It was crazy. Um, and I never get that many. Like usually when I go live on my Facebook page, honestly, I maybe get 10 people and maybe like three shares, even if I ask, you know, so um, it was pretty rock star. I was pretty excited about the results. Um, okay. So we have, register tag add to my calendar now we're asking them to share yes and then i'm going to thank them for sharing obviously right mm -hmm. so let's scroll a little further i know we're going through this fast but that's only because you guys get the step by step okay i know and, and, and i was like and all of your questions i'll eventually go back to them but yeah, let's we'll go, go through the guide yeah and refresh it so then the next step in my the way i do it so that only the people who actually click on the share button are going to get this is I do something called a sequence. And people are always asking me like, oh, now that Facebook's changing the rules, sequences are dead. I'm like, I use sequences all the time. And this is a perfect example of how they could still be compliant. So they hit the share button, they're off sharing with the world. And then what happens is they get sent or subscribed to the sequence I created. And the sequence I created is simply a, a one minute, it, sen it sends out one to two minutes after they click the button, giving them time to share. And then it just says, you rock. It's a GIF of me like going, you rock. It's a personalized <laughs> GIF. And then here's a little fun thing that nobody talks about, but I think it's just extra. It makes, makes the experience better. Is if you do a line, if you ever, if you go to Messenger, whether it's your page, or just to a friend. You can try it when live here. I'm looking for my phone, but anyways. I heard it earlier. I heard it. Jump on Messenger and just post either a balloon, just a balloon emoji, or just a heart. No other text. And then it like flourishes, right? There's like hearts everywhere, or balloons everywhere. So what I do is I do a, a GIF of you rock, one box text box with just heart, and then the next text box, brand new text box saying, Thank you so much for sharing. You rock. And it's like this whole experience when they come in to share. And it's like, wow, that was so cool. Well, at that point, you can leave it at that. Hey, you rock. Thank you. Or you, that's where you can do the unlock for if you wanted to do an unlock like we did in this yeah. next thing that you guys are running through. So that is so cool. Yeah, that was the first time I ever saw that. And I thought that it was just so clever. It was just so clever. Like, I feel like whenever I talk to Kelly, anything about like promotion wise, you're just always thinking outside of the box. And it's always, like you said, she's extra. She, she's I like, you can not do that. I want the experience or, super special for people, like a wow experience. Because 
I mean, I, don't go, don't get it twisted. When even at conversations, when I got on the stage, the first thing I told that audience, mind you, all chat marketers were, people say chat bots are annoying. So knock it off. You know, like I don't want to build a bot that's annoying. I want people to be like, whoa, how did you do that? And more yeah. likely than not, the messages I get in my inbox are either asking me specific questions of how do I build this because they're watching my videos or they're responding going, how do I do what you just put me through? Like, especially yeah. with the one we just ran through, I had a lot of people say, how do I do that? I was like, hey, you know, go watch Stephanie's show. I'm going to give you the, the guide. <laughs> it, was, it, was, it was bananas because I don't I mean, I don't even know what happened, but I usually have my phone on silent at night when I go to bed. I went to bed last night. I totally forgot to do it. And all oh, throughout the night, it was like, message. <laughs> and I was like, this is like some dubstep happening in my bedroom right now. I was like, <laughs> 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 I was like okay. All right. So if you guys are following along, we are talking about Kelly Noble Mirabella's signature baby got bot engagement strategy. I just, you got a name now. Signature. <laughs> and Stephanie says that means it's real. <laughs> That's it. Yes. I help people name their sessions and description. <laughs> you did. You helped me. You helped me with uh, a session that I applied for. And I was like, oh my gosh, you're like rocking my world right now, lady. Copyright your stuff. So if you guys are just following on, we're talking about how live streamers can leverage chatbots into their marketing. If you came into the show because you follow Robo staff or you're hanging out with Kelly, I mean, we're giving you like, it's, it's, it's pretty much meta. We're, we're doing it and then we're showing you how to do it. Well, actually Kelly's showing you how to do it. It is pretty meta, isn't it? Because not only are we showing, but this is it. Like this yeah. is the case. You are in the case study, people. You are in the matrix. All right, cool. So we've got up so far to talking about sequences and why sequences are not dead and chatbots are not annoying. So knock it off. So let's go ahead and go from there. <laughs> let's, keep, let's keep scrolling. So you're not done yet. I mean, what, the whole point here, this is teaching you all about how to build the sequence. Like literally when I say it's step by step, this is why I have an 18 page guide. It's because you're getting like the full lowdown. And in the mini course, I actually have a video that walks you through as well, as well as some additional helpful resources. So it's just walking you through how to build that, that whole thing. And then we, yep, yep. Keep going. <laughs> I was like, that's good. That was gold. And then you have, okay. So this is the growth tool. So, okay. um, Stephanie, I know you did one of these. I did one of these and it's just a URL and you can use these wherever your URLs apply. So in your email marketing, on your event page, in your Facebook group. And just my suggestion is always to say register via messenger, always set the expectations because the last thing you want is someone to click on a link thinking they're going to a page, like a landing page. And all of a sudden, a messenger pops up and they either ignore it because they're like, well, what is that? Or they're like annoyed because they're all, whoa, invasive. How did you do that? So if you just take the very easy step of saying, yo, you're going through messenger to register. They're like, hey, cool, man. You know, it's like no big deal. And then, and then you go from, whoa, this is not cool to, whoa, this is so cool. Like that's the difference. And all it took was me going, the hey. next, seriously, the next emoji that you need to do is like, um, it's like a emoji slide bar where it's like, I'm happy. And then it's like, I'm super excited. Like, remember the, the Mark Zuckerberg where they have like that little yeah. smile emoji? That that needs to be you. We need <laughs> yes. Awesome. So yeah, I mean, setting expectations is like life. Like that with everything you do in marketing, all you do, all this little change, this little shift of just setting the right expectations. And all of a sudden you go from just customers and fans to like super raving fans who are all, whoa. Yeah, because so, it's completely different. I mean, based off of everything else that I've ever been in, other people's chatbots, she does make it stand out. Like she, there's there's no way that you could possibly walk down like the convention center and and not see Kelly. She's like this vibrant really energy. Pink, pink lipstick too, so. That's true. All right, cool. So we've talked about um, the growth tool. Do you want to talk a little bit more about that? Like why no, you know, there's good. a lot of growth tools you can use. In fact, y'all just went through the growth tool, right? If you typed the BGB, that's called a comment growth tool, which is super handy for getting more engagement. And also it creates the, uh, the next step of this, which is after people are in your live, they're watching, that's the opportunity to give them show notes. It doesn't have to be a guide. You could do show notes. It could be like, uh, I don't know, an extra tip and maybe do like a quick video with an extra tip. It doesn't have to be, 
it's just some, it's like a perk. Like yeah. anything free that's kind of feels VIP to people, that's cool. And usually I just exact, I'm extra, right? So I'm of course giving away like eight, 18 page guides, but you guys do like a, a 30 minute bonus tip that just blows people's mind and they're willing to share. Um, I will say, so the, the thing is they comment, they come in, they get whatever you offered them and then you offer them uh, to unlock the bonus thing if you want, totally optional. We happen to be doing that yeah. today. For, in our case, 50% off of my $20.20, 20, 2020. Yeah, see what I did there. So it's like $9.70, which 1970, 1970. Oh my God, that's too much math. But I will say this. I have bought, like, whatever Kelly puts out, I'm just like, yep, sign me up. Done, done. Because it's just something that I want to have like in my swipe file in my library because I know how much effort she puts into this. Seriously, you guys, when we had set this whole episode up, I was like, yeah, you know, we'll talk about this. And we'll do this. And she's like, but wait a second. What if we build a bot? What if we do this? What if we do a guide? And then I'll give you a promo code. I was like, girl, you can come to the show anytime you want. <laughs> I will be your producer. <laughs> I love it. That's awesome. So, it, but it does help increase. So what we've done here is we've created a viral loop. We've allowed people to get something awesome by engaging with our show. And obviously we have more organic engagement going on as well because we encourage you to ask questions. Yes. And then you come in, you get whatever. So that's nice for you guys watching. But then we as the producers or the, the host, we're getting more engagement and more reach because you're sharing to unlock the next thing. That's so, so cool. I mean, it's a win, 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 win. Yeah. And it really does help it helps so much. It's like, I, I'm i surprised I didn't discover this earlier because it's this like the coolest like, thing ever. <laughs> like, I'm just thinking this is like the live streaming lottery and chatbots was kind of all rolled into one. So that's awesome. So before we jump into the, the next couple of steps, I want to give a, a big, huge shout out to Mitch Jackson, who we all know and love the streaming lawyer, Legal Minds. And so his question was, can we add one or more recorded videos into our chatbot messages? And you do you have any recommendations for that? Yes, I do. Okay, so when it comes to videos in your chatbot, any large file is going to slow your chatbot down significantly, which is going to hurt your user experience. I always say user experience above all else when it comes to your messenger bot, and for most things, really. Um, so what my recommendation is, is number one, if you are hell bent on having an actual video hosted inside your bot, make it super duper small, super duper short. I want to say you only have like 20 megabytes. It's like super small. Like, is that even possible anymore? So my suggestion instead is to host it somewhere, whether you're doing a Vimeo or a Wistia or um, YouTube, even like a private link. And just, um, I like to do what's called a card, which is actually an image. And you can do like a GIF, like a quick GIF, uh, a sample of your video, which I've done in the past. And, or you could just do like a thumbnail. Like I do my YouTube video every week and I send it out in my bot and I just do a th my thumbnail. Oh, and then you can link to that video and you know, like watch now with a little call to action, watch now. And that's how I do it. And then you can go like crazy, like as many videos as your heart desires, you know, go you. I love this. I actually, when I knew that I was going to have you on the show, I limited myself to one cup of coffee because I knew as soon as you were <laughs> going to come on, like, we would totally vibe and it would be like the loudest thing that happens in the house. Uh, right, cool. So pause on the questions for now. We'll go ahead and um, wrap this part up. Okay, so this is the whole like copy URL. I love the flow. When ManyChat rolled out the whole- I don't The know new flow it. is- <laughs> I was like, the new flow, this thing. <laughs> that thing was awesome. Okay, so- and then, so you're you're walking them through. This is actually how I had someone ask me this question. Yeah, you know, I think it was in my bot after I did think. Kelly, how do you get the link to the Facebook Live to put in your bot? Because this is kind of confusing. Yeah. You just hit the timestamp, and then you grab the link. And by the way, you, you know when you do like a Facebook Live schedule, and it like creates the world's longest link. You don't need the whole link. You only need it at the end of the number sequence, the post number sequence. Yeah, so wherever the question mark starts, just cut it there. Doesn't have to go, yeah. Okay. So. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah. All right, um, Mitch did say, host it someplace else, a great idea. Yay, thanks Mitch. <laughs> <laughs> good, good. All right, so, the knowledge bomb. I know, this is why James, this is why I told you. And Lowell, if you still have those five other tabs open, God bless you. All right. Well, my brother from another mother over there. Watch out. All right. So 
Step three, send out reminders and going live notification broadcast. I would, yeah, I would love to hear what you're doing with this. Okay. Now, a lot of people that are familiar with ManyChat and Messenger bots might be freaking out at this point. It's like, whoa, I thought broadcasts were dead. <laughs> Deep breaths, everyone. Um, no, they're not dead. You just have to use them properly. And because you had people register and you were tagging them for this event, you are going to use what is called the confirmed event reminder. And OPS, I did not do this on purpose, but my YouTube video today is actually fully all about that tag, the confirmed event reminder. So if you have questions about that, check out the YouTube channel. So what we do is we have them register. We come in here. We're going to do a messenger uh, broadcast. And you can do just like, hey, I'm going live and do it to go out right when you go live. Or you could be like me and accidentally send it out at 2 a.m. <laughs> I hated <laughs> that. I was like, why? Why don't you give me an a.m. p.m. box? Don't do that. And I'm like, okay, military time. I just, okay, fine, fine, fine. I fine. did. I actually scheduled it. And for some reason, I, I, you guys, I am not joking when I say I'm recovering from the flu. And both my kids had the flu. So I'm a little delirious when I scheduled it out. But it did go out at two. You don't want that to happen. Schedule it to go out at the time. By the way, if you're like, what happens if you do send it out at the wrong time or something happens? I just send like a little Steve Urkel. It, did I do that a GIF out? I was like, I am so sorry. We were so excited to go live. That went out a little early, but don't worry, more is to come. So you can just, you know, have some have some fun with it. People are so forgiving if you're nice and you're human. Like, believe it or not, your chatbot can be human. And then I people will send imagine. you back and it's fine. Everything's fine. I could totally see you, Kelly. Like, instead of doing the Urkel gif, you could have one of you with your hair up in a towel and then like the cucumber slices on your face and a mask with like your cup. You're like, oh, <gasps> did that I happen? Love that. I, I do know, have I would, a gift where I'm like, no, I should have used that one. I also have one where I'm breathing in a paper bag. Could have used that one. Oh, too. that's right. Yeah, 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 that's a good one. That's a good one. Okay, cool. Um, so anyway, <laughs> so you can just send out the reminder, hey, we're live, come join us. Or you can send out a like that day or the day before, or if you have like a longer tail between when they register and, <clears throat> excuse me, when you're live, set out a couple of reminders. You can always use that confirmed event reminder but only send it to the people that you tagged and you're fully in compliance as long as it's prior to. We're not talking about after the event, we're talking to prior to and you're not promoting anything else. Got it. Okay, so we're only talking about, hey, we're so excited about this event and we're gonna give away this guide, which is totally okay because we actually are giving away a guide, it's part of the show, okay? So this is how you set up, you go into your broadcast, click on the new broadcast button, click on messenger there. You yeah. can send out SMS, email. It's super cool with ManyChat, but you do have to build those lists out. And in my mini course, I teach you how to do those too. And the one that you just, we, if you unlock this, you talk about what? The SMS one? Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, think of it this way. The main strategy you're learning here is kind of like the initial block. And then you can customize it. So if you want to, instead of asking them to share, you're like, I actually would rather build my email list. So like, hey, would you guys also like to uh, get notified via email or and, and also join my email list where you can find out more awesome guests that I'm going to be having? Or I like to give people a choice if I do do this. I'll say, hey, do you want to be notified via email or SMS as well? And then I will let them choose. I will say, by the way, you will be opting in. I always like to be, again, expectations. You're gonna be opting mm -hmm. in. I send out one text a week, one email a week, you know, so. But in this case, we just did Messenger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's yeah, awesome. Yeah. Cool, all right. <clears throat> all right, so uh, we are gonna select the confirmed event reminder, which we already talked about a little bit. Yep. And that's gonna keep you fully compliant, even after the March date. Again, I only teach the new compliance. Which is why you need to subscribe to her YouTube channel because anything that's new, Everything. she will go ahead and just like yeah. lay it all out for you. It's all in layman's terms. And if you ever have any questions, she still has that very, very active Facebook group that you could join. Is that, is that a, that's a free group, right? It is a free group. Yeah, baby okay. got bought. Totally free. Got it, got it. Cool, cool, cool. And we do like live Q and A's in there every month and stuff. It's super fun. Awesome. I do all my Facebook lives in my Facebook group for my bot shots. Anyway. <laughs> Wait, sorry. Oh. Shout out to Mitch, who just basically said, quick observation. We can all learn from the excitement and energy from Stephanie and Kelly bringing to the show. They could be talking about rocks and we'd still I mean, be interested. 
Rocks are cool, man. My daughter collects rocks, so we could totally make that a thing. <laughs> My daughter paints rocks. All right, cool. Carry on. <laughs> anyway, now in the example here, you can see, like, have some fun with it. Keep it short. You don't want to, like, have blocks and blocks of text. It's messenger, right? Keep it nice and short. I like to always personalize it, do a little emoji. Keep in mind that first line that you see, the high first name with a little wave, that is the preview. That very first line, when someone, like, when it pings... When you say the notification like, and then it's messenger, yeah. you see like one little line, put a little flare, a little emoji, a little word that's like, yo, you <laughs> uh, catch their eye. And then thank you, Mike, for sharing that. And then you'll notice I like to just like break it down really quick. More reach, more engagement, more viewers, heart, heart, heart. I love hearts. I love doing <laughs> emojis on my buttons. Um, you'll notice when you go through my flows and even I think the flow I built for you for the BGB thing is I'll even have like an emoji with the word. Uh, like watch live. I didn't do it in this example. It's a shame because I'm talking about it. But let's say I do register and it's like a heart with a register. I'll say in the copy, click on heart register and, and you can register. So I'm like really very intentional about making it super clear that they're not to type it. They're to click on with the emoji. That's another reason I use emoji. So it really stands out. Have you ever had someone who said that they don't see the, the register. Yeah. Cause then I'm like, it's, yeah, right there. So, I see it. What, what's happening there. So what's happening is especially, um, as of late, because it is a new pl newer platform and they're doing tons of updates right now, Facebook, that these are generally Facebook bugs. Um, I know oh. with iOS, they were having issues this week actually with the buttons not working. Um, so like you would see this and there's like, there's no watch now. I was supposed to watch. So I definitely keep an eye on my inbox and I'll notice if people say, I didn't see a button. And then I can automatically click either just send them a link or yeah. I can, there's, a, there's a little button in many chat in your inbox where you can automatically have them go to a flow and I'll send them directly to a flow. And then usually the second time it will work because there's oh, usually okay. a little glitch. And a lot of times it's just, it just needs to like, yeah, like clear. I'm so glad I asked you that because I had one person reach out to me today and I wasn't sure if they were trying to mess with me. I was like, are you just, that is happening. <laughs> like, are, you, are you trying to break this? Or I'm like, it's right there. I see it. But now that makes sense. So thank you. Yeah, thank it's you, thank glitchy you. sometimes. You just have to roll with it. Like seriously, if you want to be an early adapter, you have to be cool, man. <laughs> and just roll with it. And that's why I say like, go in with a little personality of your own, like a little bit of like, hey, if I mess up, my tribe, my people, my community, they're like, it's cool, Kelly. Like I, I misspell it's like cool, Kelly. <laughs> I misspell like crazy. I'm dyslexic. And people are like, Kelly, you misspelled this. I was like, Yeah, I'm dyslexic. I'm sorry. I'll change it. And they're like, No, no, it's totally fine. We love you. Love Aww. your stuff. I love you. That's adorable. We have bot shots in the house. Like, where are my bot shots at? I know. Yeah. I know. All I'm looking at the view numbers and I'm like, those are her peeps. <laughs> <laughs> Like those are her peeps. Cool. What are her people? So we're on page 14. Again, you guys could totally get this for free. She's walking you through all of it. She gives you the There's important the information. Changes. Yeah. Yeah. I'm um, talking about the non-promotional tags, how to, how to set <gasps> it. And then, oh yeah. PS bonus. There's a checklist because <laughs> people are always asking me for a checklist. You know how hard it is for me to do a one page checklist? My last guidebook, by the way, that I sell for seven dollars in my my course is is literally fifty seven pages long. I can't help yes. myself. <laughs> no, I think it's brilliant. This is one of those things, guys. You know, if you want to be more organized this year, if you want to hire a VA or even just an intern, take this checklist right here, put it into your Asana, your Trello, whatever it is that you use, ClickUp, Thanks. you know, and then boom, it's yeah. all right there. Super straightforward. It's like, you know, and if you could think of other things you want to do, add to your checklist. This is just my checklist. This is what I do. So add some flair to it. Add so shout out to Eden. What up, Basha? Basha, Eden customer. Love it. <laughs> cool. So <laughs> again, you guys, she's, it's already been 45 minutes. Oh my God. We've been, we've been going nonstop. So here's, here's the deal. You already know what to do in order to go ahead and get this guide. If you're watching on LinkedIn or on YouTube, you actually have to go over to facebook.com slash Hey Stephanie Lou to see totally it. Totally worth the, the venture. Original. Come yes. on over. Come on over. And then while we have this still up, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through the comments. If I missed your question the very first time, just type it back. Okay. <laughs> and so while I do this, but shout out to you before your question, like a big Q. That's what we do in my group. We do there you Q. go. So Monica says, Kelly's YouTube channel is the best. So much information. Your head will explode. 
I love Ooh. the emoji too. Thank you, Monica. You should oh, have I another gift. I heart this you. is another idea. You should have another gift where it's like your head and then like <laughs> someone just like launches your head out. That would be amazing. Uh, I've been telling my community would do that because I actually had someone that redid the "Hit Me with Your Be Best Shot" song yeah. to say "Hit Me with Your Best Bot." Like music, composure, and everything. Like my my people who oh, in my group always like send me stuff like this. I love it. Okay, so let's see here. She needs to breathe. <laughs> anyone anyone using one stream to live stream pre-recorded videos i have never heard of one stream is that something that you've I, about? I think i've heard of it i've never used it but i've actually used um you can do that with like pretty much anything you could use obs that's the og like back when i was teaching facebook live like back in 2016 i taught o obs you could do that i think ecam you can do it as well you could do it actually in facebook if yeah. it's pre-recorded. Um, so I know that uh, Gary Vaynerchuk does this strategy, but again, if you are gonna do pre-recorded videos, my suggestion is, again, set the expectation because you will PO people off if they're like, what? This is recorded and you're not like, hey, it's recorded, watch this. Why are recording me? Yeah, totally, totally agree. I've actually, I've done that before. Well, I'll, where I'll say like, I'll actually do the intro first. I'll say, okay, I just had an amazing show with Kelly Noble Marabella. It was so good. I just want to push the replay for you guys. Watch the replay. I'll still be in the comments. So any questions that you have, I'll just go ahead and retype them in there. And then it works out pretty well. Yeah, totally. So here's a good question from Sa Samantha. She said, if you do a weekly show, how do you come up with something every week that has the wow factor? Sometimes I have great combos mapped out and other times it's just an alert to listen to this. What are your thoughts? My thoughts, well, I don't do a live show, but I do do a video every week on my YouTube channel. And the way that I do it is I have an ongoing list. I use Trello to organize all my video uh, content. So I have like a board for just ideas, one that's in development, one that's in editing, and then posted all the good stuff. Mm -hmm. So I have a really long list. And where I get most of my ideas is I go into Facebook groups that might have like, I'm in the many chat group, all the time. I have my own group where I get a lot of questions. I'll do Q and A's and I'll have a bot that will actually accept questions and automatically put it into a spreadsheet. So I have like the video I posted today, all the questions I answered in the video came from a bot questionnaire into a spreadsheet. Yeah. So those are how I get my ideas every week. Yeah. So I just always have like an ongoing list in Trello and just like, oh, I'll take that one. I, this is what I feel like doing today. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I love that idea too. Cause even in, cause I use Asana, but I have like this one column and I called it the parking lot. So it's like my parking lot of ideas. It's like, I want to run with this, but I'm going to park you right here. So later, you know, I could go ahead and pull from that. Uh, so shout out to Sonia. She said, I swear I set up all of the notifications. And the only one that told me about this broadcast was the messenger bot. So duplication is key. Mm -hmm. See, I'm telling you, be the holder of your destiny, people. Yes, don't leave it all up to notifications. And if you're just tuning in now, we just walk you through the whole step as far as Messenger goes. But in the mini course that Kelly has so graciously put together for everyone, she also talks about SMS, right? Yeah, totes. And how to build your email list. You it's are crazy. bananas. I'm like, it's the, it's the ninth day of the new year. And she's like, go, go, go. Yeah, like, what else do you want? <laughs> I did this literally <laughs> yesterday. <laughs> I know. I was like, it's mommy daughter day. I'm not even by the computer, Kelly. What are you doing? <laughs> I know. I waited till the last minute. I'm like, this is the first day I felt good. I have to do all the things. No, I love it. I love it. All right. So shout out to AJ. He says, well, he's asking, how does tracking mm -hmm. work to make sure that the post is shared? That's a really okay. neat solution. Two things um, that I like to do is in because we're using like the link in um, it's not just like a share button that went away. So if people are like, I thought the share button went away. This is different. It's like the way the link. So you can actually track in many chat how many people clicked on it. And then also on my one of the reasons I create a separate post on my Facebook page with like an image is that allows me to track shares so I can see as it's ticking up. Well, that's most likely from the bot because I can kind of compare the data. So that's how I do it. Yeah. Cool. So it's not like, oh yeah, it's not, you know, like you're like for the unlock stuff, I wouldn't like unlock super big things that are like, you get a free course, like a whole free hundred thousand dollar course or whatever. Um, because there's not like a, a safeguard to, in, to make sure hundred percent that they actually didn't just click and then not share, which please yeah. still share now, now that I've given you that information. <laughs> but, um, but for the most part, if someone's going to click on that, they're most likely sharing. So this is the signature baby got bot strategy. You need to get that 
registration mark on there. Yeah, which was <laughs> Shout copyright. Out to there's a copyright on the guide though. So just so y'all know, it's on the last page. Believe it. That's right. So James is saying this is gold. He's going to use it for a local business summit planning for February. So look at that. Already taking something awesome. that you've learned and already putting it into action. That's how you got to do 2020. Yeah. Okay. And I actually have a course coming out. It was supposed to come out this month, but everyone got the flu. So probably next month. And it's going to include um, even a further step into event marketing, which is slightly I'm not just going to say slightly. It's pretty different from what I'm teaching here. This is more for webinars and lives when you're doing like in-person events conferences classes that sort of thing i have a completely different not completely but there is different steps that you take and i'm actually teaching that for those of you going to AtomicCon. that's actually the topic i'm teaching in my workshop on a fringe day talk okay. about AtomicCon for a little bit uh atomic con is put on by my coaches i'm crazy about them uh andrew and pete i love you andrew and pete i'm the president of the official unofficial um club a uh, fan club, obviously. And uh, they put on it, it's called Atomicon. It's their conference. It's in Thames, uh, new in the UK. And um, and Mike Alton's actually gonna be there. I think Agora Pulse might be a sponsor. Um, yeah. and so I'll be speaking on chat marketing, and then um they have a fringe day. This is the 28th is the actual conference, and then the 27th, they have fringe day events. I know Mike has a uh, fringe day event he's doing. Uh, Mari Smith is doing a fringe day event, Bella oh, Basta. Good. And I am teaching how to create event marketing strategies, kind of like what we talked about today, but more specific to event marketing with messenger bots. So that's going to be my, it's like a two hour workshop. Cool. Here's another question from Samantha. She's saying, um, how do you actually make the flow for the chat strategy not be annoying? Which I, I totally get because I feel like, you know, having live stream for, for, gosh, like four years now, mm -hmm. right? And then when the bots had rolled out, it's like, hey, if you're interested in this, one, two, three, click here, blah, blah, blah. Do you mix it up or do you keep it with the same template because that's what people come to expect, setting the expectations? So I have the same bones. The strategy is the same, right? You're gonna, you're always gonna register that link. I'm always gonna send you confirmation with these things. But okay. the messaging is always different. And I know that takes more time than just like cutting and pasting. But that's when things get stale. And that's when things kind of just like, rah, rah, rah. I like to always try to wow. And not everything's going to wow. I mean, whatever. But if someone's coming in the registry and you got to at least give them the bare bones of what you're looking for. So I definitely try to change it up. Different gifts, different emojis, different images. I might change the flow slightly. But generally speaking, the flow is going to be basically the same. And I sometimes will keep it really, really simple and even shorten it and get rid of like the calendar thing. It really depends on huh. what I'm doing and what the topic is. And if I have a guest, I want to, you know, do extra. Yeah. Um, so I definitely would say you want to switch it up, at least the copy and the images to give it kind of a different feel. Got it. Here's another question from Lisa Monks. Kelly, any updates on when phone messaging is coming to Australia? Yeah, I know Lisa's having issues with um, her her Facebook page right now. Facebook is being a pain in the butt for people right now. So yeah, I was told that it should have been out, I wanna say by the end of this month in Australia. Um, I know that many chats said I, that certain places will have different pricing because it is based off of your local uh, phone number, text message pricing, but I'm pretty sure that that's supposed to be out at the end of this month for Australia, Mexico, uh, the UK and Brazil, don't, don't, don't take my word on the Brazil one. I think it's Brazil. All right, cool. So here's another one from Joey. This is an interesting one. Do you teach yeah. anything related to using API with the bots? I don't currently teach anything with API. Um, I find that I, I personally don't use the API a whole lot. I use things like um, uh, Walletly. I use um, A1 Club. I use Zapier. Uh, so I use tools. Um, I'm not a coder by any means. So I try to teach things to people who are business people that aren't going to know how to do API stuff. So really, people like me who are business owners who aren't, you know, knowing how to code and stuff, I try to keep it pretty simple, but still being able to do really high end stuff. Now, I, there are some fantastic educators out there, I'm sure that teach API. That's just not my style, yo. <laughs> not where my clientele is. Most of my clients, they don't, they don't have those skills. So now That's if you, you go into my Facebook group and you ask questions about API, I probably won't be able to answer them, but there are people in my group who can answer those questions. Oh, and you've got some amazing, talented people in there. I love it when they go in there and they start sharing like their wins 
And it's like a completely, it's like a, it's an industry completely out of left field. And you're like, wait, what? Like, yeah. And I think people are really comfortable helping each other because I don't really compete with any of them. I don't sell a lot of bots. I'm really more of an educator. I do build for businesses, but most of my builds are really high end, bigger builds. So yes, love it. All right, cool. So for those of you that are interested in Atomicon, here is the link. Is that right? James, you are yes. James, you are like a super sharer today. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Atomicon's amazing. Social media marketing world's amazing. What yes. else you were talking about? <laughs> Social media week, Lima, you're going to be there, right? Oh, yeah. Speaking at Lima too, and I will likely build their bot again. So I love Jessica Phillips. She's my girl. She is the best. Thank you, Kim. I love Kim. She's my girl. <laughs> Love it. All right, you guys. So today has been a jam packed show. Yes. You will get show notes. Show notes will be on lightscameralive.com. That's where we'll have everything up on there. You'll get the transcript. So if you like to see our banter, love the banter, <laughs> but also the step by step stuff um, will be in the blog post, but I'll still have, I'll just have like the button go through the flow. I don't know how you want to do that, but we'll make that go easy for them. If you guys have any other questions or actually here's the group fb.com group slash baby got bot. That's where you're going to find my homegirl. Absolutely. Don't love forget that. to get the guide while you can. I know, right? Don't make it disappear. Don't take it away. Um, Monica, Monica read the email. You didn't see it yeah, yet. I did see like, it, did but you, see you it? didn't okay. do the baby got bot. I thought you did it as uh, Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. I have the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air in my pocket. So the next time I see you, I'm probably going to have to surprise you with that I'm one. Like, I have to go back and read it now because but yeah. I had it in my head as a different song. And I was like, this seems. <laughs> I'm trying to do the wow factor in the email. So I wanted to do something yes. different. So for those you of know, you that got the email, hey. <laughs> yes. You know, before we, before, I know we have to end soon, but I, we, I did an amazing, amazing training um, in my Facebook group. So if you guys join my Facebook group, it, you'll access it in the units all about SMS. And I had, it wasn't me. That was amazing. It was mobile Mary, Mary. Uh, I think her last name is Bennett. She's, and I have never been huge into SMS and I just started getting into it when many chat got it. And she was like blowing my mind. I was like, now I want to do everything. But one thing she said that like killed it, like definitely put the pin in it for me was everything we've already talked about, which is the very first message you send out in an in an uh, SMS, but even like with anything, the very first thing you do, try to make that first thing just blow their mind. Because if you can blow their mind, then they're like, I'm in. Like I'm they're in. Like, no. over. <laughs> yeah, you've already created that rapport. You've got like those happy brain chemicals. They're like, ah, I just have to get you a new message. The, and open and it's it. not, you don't always have to be doing that. It doesn't always have to be like fireworks every time. But if you could do it the first time, you just have solidified in their mind that memory of this person is awesome. This message is awesome. I'm so glad I joined this email list or this SMS message. That's what we want. We want people to be like, I'm glad I did this. You yes. know, treat yourself. All right. Here's one last question from Sonia. She said that you guys mentioned reusing your live video content. Do you repost it to YouTube? Do you split it? Pieces on YouTube, clips and email marketing, any other ideas? Oh, I, I think you and I might have different answers for this. And what it really comes down to is what is your goal? My goal is absolutely, my strategy for the past two years is, is really driving home high quality videos that train people how to use messenger bots on my YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. I don't purpose anything on my YouTube channel. I won't post things to that YouTube channel that does not fit my specific style and strategy. Um, if I have videos that are for something else, I'll put them on my Facebook page. But when it comes to my YouTube, it's like sacred. It's just my baby got bought like yep. super. That's, that's the stuff. Now I know that because your main goal is really a lot more Facebook live, you probably do something very different. So. Yeah. So right now I'm actually using StreamYard, which allows you to go live in multiple places. I own my YouTube. <laughs> Hey, yeah, so we got a YouTube crew, we have a LinkedIn crew, we have folks watching on Twitter as well, oh, um, and Facebook. So it's 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 cool because now I don't have to worry about download, downloading the video, chopping up and doing all that other stuff. If I could just go live once and it appears everywhere else, Sonia, it makes it a lot easier. As far as like how to repurpose the content, if you Google 26 ways to repurpose your Facebook Live, it's an article by our good friend, Mike Alton. Mike, go ahead and link it. We know, I know, Mike, I know you're there. You have like a shortcut somewhere. Um, but he actually shows you like how you could turn Amazing. your live video into one minute teaser videos, into audiograms, into GIFs, all of that stuff. I mean, honestly, Kelly and I have been geeking out for almost an hour now. And I can tell you that I could probably already make like 31 minute clips. Will. of like, watch this. Boom. I will. Yeah, I totally will. And then I'll put it in a girl pulse. 
Hey. I know. I was just, before we went on live, I was just telling her like, man, I need to get on board with the, the Stephanie Lou strategy because she is everywhere. Every time I come on your show, I'm just like thrilled because the marketing, like you can, you market for me for the rest of the year. I don't have to do anything. I'm going to like, do, the rest yeah. of the year, I'll see you guys. <laughs> see, that's why people should be a guest on the show because it's a I whole should. marketing thing. There's like yeah. the, the pre-promotion buzz. Oh, Chatbots, I, I still get traffic from last year. We did this whole show last year. We're like on our anniversary. This is our anniversary. Is our anniversary. anniversary. Oh. <laughs> the right. does help. Sonia says, um, so many ideas. Julie says, oh, she needs to read that one. Yes, you do. Mike, hopefully it's you're really so good. But Sonia says, so many ideas. Yeah, girl. There's so many things that you can do. Like I said, I take one video, turn it into 26 pieces of content, jump into Agora Pulse, and then every week it's promoting that one thing on a Monday, Tuesday. And just imagine how many other live videos that you do. I never have to think about it. And, and you can do it and stuff. Yeah. yeah. And even with my guest, right? Because most likely when you're live streaming, you'll get like the HD file. I'll even send it to the guest. I'm like, you repurpose it. You do whatever you want. Yeah. I love that. And then it just makes it fun. So cool. Mm -hmm. Oh, James, James, you are a like, I want Boom. to hug. James bought my course, by the way. So mad shout out to James for closing all his tabs. Yeah. yeah. See what happened. So Sonia, that is the, that's the link. And then one last, this is going to be the last one. Yeah, question. totally. I'm here until the kid walks in. I'm, I'm yours. <laughs> right. Yes. So can this mini bot strategy be integrated with Zapier? And I'd love to know like what examples you have. Now this particular one that I teach in the guide, there is no need for Zapier, but absolutely I use Zapier all the freaking time. Um, for instance, if you didn't want to use ManyChat's native email system, maybe you have your own list somewhere. I use Constant Contact myself. I know a lot of people use something else. Then, and you wanted to build your email as well as do this strategy. So you would use Zapier, by the way, I have a YouTube video that teaches how to do this. Um, you would use Zapier that basically would, uh, trigger the zap to take their email address and add it to your email service provider, which by the way, in my new course, I'm gonna teach a whole funnel system that oh. does everything, including how to build a drip campaign in email. Before I became a bot expert, I actually for years was a constant contact uh, local area expert. And I taught on behalf of them and Microsoft. So oh, cool. email marketing is like still my jam, um, which is why I was one of the few people who was like, Messenger bots are not going to take away email. Okay. But yeah, you could totally use um, Zapier with, with this strategy and expand on it and stuff. There's so many things you can do. Yeah, active campaigns. Exactly, Brian. There you go. Brian says perfectly. That's exactly what I was thinking. Active campaign. Oh, I know I use it with ConvertKit and Google Sheets. Yeah, girl. I was telling you, I got all your tabs open. You, Be nice to your guests. All you live streaming folks, just shower your guest with gifts because <laughs> when you give this them creative of assets, then like they'll push it out. They will. It's true. Especially if they have a Gora Pulse. I'm just going to like schedule it all out and it's like, whoop, done. Okay. So bonus question, because this is about um, StreamYard. When using StreamYard, do you see comments from all three platforms? I do see comments from Facebook and from YouTube. Um, not on LinkedIn because it's not integrated there yet. But yeah, that's that. Yay. All right, Kelly, you have been absolutely amazing. I know you guys love this as much as I have because I've been watching the viewership and the numbers and the hearts just floating across the screen. <laughs> it's a heart storm for Stephanie, you guys. Ah! It's like killer with kindness. <laughs> killer with kindness. Don't really die, but lots of hearts. Like just yes. break the internet. And again, get your free strategy guide from the amazing Kelly Noble Mirabella. She was so gracious. It's 18 pages of amazing wonderfulness. And this also gives you the opportunity to connect with her, check out her mini course. You guys, I usually just throw my credit card at her. <laughs> and there's a the you guys. She woke up from her nap. <laughs> oh, so oh cute. God, I told you they want to be famous. <laughs> All right. Well, obviously it's time. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Say bye, everyone. Bye. bye. <laughs> All right. And